everybody. My name is Bo Bennett. I'm the founder and creator of BookBud.ai. I want to take you for a quick tour through BookBud.ai to show you what it can do. It's really an amazing system. I've been in the publishing industry for over a dozen years now, and this thing is really industry changing. So it's pretty exciting. So let's go to create a book, and I'm going to go to my books because I'm not gonna walk you through the whole process of creating a book. I actually have an online course where I do that for you. So if you do sign up, you could have over two and a half hours of videos of me showing you exactly what you need to do. But for now, I just wanna show you what can be done. So here is a completed book that I've recently finished, Your Productive Mindset. So we have the book here and all the steps that I needed to take in order to get this done. So. Step number one is actually starting just with the idea and it goes through all the way to the end where the book is actually published. And then step number 20 would be promoting the book, but that's, that's optional. You don't need to do that, but I do strongly suggest it. So let me show you how to go through these steps fairly quickly and see how we get to the end result. All right, step number one is generate the idea for the book and enter in some basic information. So we could talk about uh, the, the language. There are plenty of different languages you could do this book in. If you want a print book, an audio book, what you want the book to be about, that's the important thing. You need to enter what you want the book, the book to be about and then uh, who the reader is. After you go through each page, you click next. The system will come up with a bunch of titles for you. You pick a title and then you just enter it in here. Step number three is the prompt. Here's where we feed the artificial intelligence information to really craft the book exactly the way we want it. So we got the goal of the book, the tone of the book, we could choose up to three different tones. And for this book, I chose informal humor and instructional. And then the author name, combine the writing styles of, and you pick a narrator to do the audiobook version. We've got dozens of narrators to choose from. And if there's anything specific you want included in the table of contents. Next, the artificial intelligence will come up with a table of contents for you, a suggested table of contents. So you just look it over and make sure it looks okay. Here you can make changes and you can add things, you could remove things, whatever you want. The next step is actually more about setting the length of each section. So we could go through and we set it to either 15 paragraphs or one sentence, anywhere in between. And that's how we could really define the length of our book. Once we go through this whole step, the system will generate the table of contents, how it looks with all the sections indented. And when we're ready to generate, we just go through and we check each section and then go all the way to the bottom and click next and save. And that will send all of the information to the artificial intelligence. So if you generate an entire book, it'll take about an hour and then you'll get an email back saying that your book is ready. Once it's ready, you do a light proofreading of the book. The system generates a lot of things for you. It generates the title page, the copyright page, the front matter page. If you have front matter, if you want to add a dedication, an acknowledgement page, or just a letter to your readers, you could do that. You could put that in there or don't put anything. And then it has each section as the artificial intelligence actually created it. So you could go through and you could do a quick proofing of it, make sure everything looks good. Next, the system will generate keywords for you. It'll generate the keywords that are really good to add to Amazon and other retailers so your book stands out and gets noticed. After that, it will suggest categories. So you could take these categories and you could just transfer those into when you register your book with the retailers. And it will also generate a description for you. We have these prompts set up so the description is perfect. And by perfect, I mean extremely good. It generates a really good description to help you sell the book. So step number 11 is narrate your book on authorvoices.ai. We just click on author voices. You already have an account there because if you have an account on bookbud.ai, your account is also on authorvoices.ai. All of your narration files will be transferred over. And all you need to do is you just need to go through each file Make sure it's okay and then just click narrate. That will create the narration files. Again, like BookBud, when you send things to AI, it takes a little time, but you'll get notice when everything is ready for you. 
Once everything's narrated, you go through your audio files and you proof them and edit them if needed. We make it really easy to go back and forth and edit the audio and edit the text as well. Step number 13 is order your formatted print book. Now, if you could format your print book yourself, that's great. But if you can't and you want a professional to do it, it's only $10. <laughs> it's a, it's a no-brainer really to get this done. Click on more details. I have the complete information, where to go to the Fiverr service to get it done. We have a special arrangement with them where they'll do books from our system for $10 because we create an RTF file already that really does a lot of the formatting. They just need to clean it up and make it look really good for publication. After you get the book back from the formatter, step 14 is proof and upload the formatted print book. So you just wanna look through the book and make sure that everything looks okay, and then you wanna upload it. And again, more details is right here. You could follow that for specifics. All right, so so far we have our audiobook, and it sounds great. We did all the editing, we did all the proofing. We've got the print book, but the one thing that we're missing to really put all this together is the cover. So we take care of that in the next step. Order the cover files. Again, more details will take you through and show you exactly how to order the cover files. We use getcovers.com and we strongly suggest them because for a mere $10, they will do an amazing job with an ebook cover. And if you really want to splurge for $35, they will do the print book cover, the ebook cover, and for an extra $5, they do the audiobook cover. So really, it's um, a no-brainer, again, to use them to do the covers because they do an amazing job and your books will look fantastic. And it's just another thing that you don't have to do or worry about. So after you order from them, you upload the final cover files when they come back. So once the files come back, step number 17 is to set the cover for the audiobook and download the audiobook files. So I won't go through that, but basically you're just assigning the cover to the audiobook. So now you have the completed audiobook with your cover that looks fantastic, I'm sure. And you're also uploading your ebook cover. So now when we create the ebook files, your cover will be assigned to that. Okay, so now that we have our ebook cover uploaded, we're going to go to one of the final steps in the process of creating the book, and that's generating the ebook files. Once we go here, all we need to do is just go to this page. We wait probably about 15 to 30 seconds and our files will generate. We've got a PDF, an EPUB file, and a .mobi file. Fully formatted, fully ready for distribution, and they look great. Now note here it says, book does not appear to be complete. If you do remove any sections in the editing process, which I did, you're gonna get that notice just to make sure that you're not accidentally skipping anything. So let's take a look to see how this file looks. I'm gonna download the EPUB and open it up. All right, here's my book. Cover looks great. Formatting is wonderful. And let's take a look at the table of contents. There we go. Get the full table of contents. Then the second to last step we have is publish, because once you have your ebook file, your print book files, and you have your audiobook files, you need to do something with them. So what you need to do is you need to publish them. You need to put them on all the major platforms. Now, we suggest two different ways of doing this. One, you could go directly to Amazon's KDP and Ingram Spark. Together, you're gonna get worldwide full distribution of your books. Now, if you have an audiobook, we suggest going through both ACX and Findaway. So between two of those, again, you'll have really full global distribution of your book. Now, I understand that sometimes people could get a little confused with that and you gotta sign up and you gotta get accounts and it might be a little bit too much for people to want to deal with. So if that's the case, if you're one of those people, well, we have a distribution service from bookbud.ai through Book Marketing Pro, our other company. So you could just basically have us do all the distribution for you. Now do keep in mind that Book Marketing Pro does keep 15% of the net royalties. So that's the trade-off with having them do it versus you doing it all yourself. So it's that easy. I hope you found this informative and exciting because it really is. You could create a book a day 
And I'm not just talking about an ebook. Anybody can do that. I'm talking about an ebook, a print book, and an audiobook and have them distributed. A book a day, only in a few hours. So it's really an amazing opportunity, and I hope you take advantage of it.